at least three persons have died a woman uh, who was pregnant eight months and a two-year-old son at the Etukebe locality following the landslide council authorities have promised that they will do something as far as the situation is concerned roland akong is on standby he went to the Etukebe neighborhood he will be telling us more in this edition of the news Plus, land crisis in Wonyama View in Boya subdivision divides the population. They fail to attend a meeting convened by the divisional officer for Boya. This day, we tell you how the League Two football championship has ended. Those who have been relegated to the regional league and those who have been catapulted to the national league one football championship. This and more will be yours. Evening, I am for Hansen Chanji. Thanks for joining me in this 6 p.m. primetime newscast on Equinox Television. We're broadcasting live from Douala, Cameroon, Equinox Central News Dex. A woman with an eight month old pregnancy has died together with her two year old son. Residents uh, say it follows the heavy downpour in the Etugebe neighborhood following a landslide. Roland Akon tells us more. The landslide occurred after the heavy downpour in Yaoundé, the night of Tuesday, breaking Wednesday. Telling us about what they know about the landslide, neighbors showed us the point of impact, indicating the enormity and gravity of the landslide. Well, it was this morning, at around 21 We were on a very grand bruit. That's the one that was on the top of the family and the family. That it all started with a big bang, followed by a distress call from Adanaz Ndi, the father of the compound, calling for the rescue of his wife Carol, who was with a pregnancy of eight months and her two-year-old son. Pardon, venez nous sauver, moi et mon enfant et ma femme. Donc nous tous, on est sortis, tous les voisins sont sortis, ils avaient les roues et les machettes. By the time neighbors reached the scene, the mud had already pushed the wall of the house covering Carol and her two-year-old son. La terre, la terre était au-dessus d'elle et le mur. The incident now has many residents on the edge in the neighborhood as they claim it is the first time it is happening in eight years. Parce que depuis huit ans que nous on est là, on n'a jamais eu ça. Ce sont les gars qui sont venus creuser ça et s'enfoncer encore deux mètres en bas. Council authorities are condemning the building of houses in marshy zones. Ceux qui sont ont investi, les zones à risque, les zones marécageuses seront purement et simplement déguerpées. Un phénomène qui est en route plus et plus en Yaoundé. Après avoir pris sur les streets, protestant et appelant sur le gouvernement pour résoudre la crise de la crise dans Wonyama View, dans la Boya Subdivision, les femmes ont encore une fois fait de prendre part à une réunion confirmée par le divisionnel officier pour la Boya Subdivision. Wokan Paul Derek Jato was present during that meeting and now fight this report from Boya. Weeks ago, these Boya farmers farming in Wonyamavu, a village in Boya subdivision, took to the street. <laughs> The administration was notified. Report said the divisional officer for Boya on many occasions has invited the agitating farmers for a meeting. Today, October 6, 2017, the divisional officer for Boya has set another meeting inviting the chief of Wonya Madhya village members of the village traditional council and the farmers the farmers failed to show up this is the third time that he's calling a meeting for the villagers and the farmers but the farmers are not coming to chief Lyonga andrew his action on the land was for development One, but two years ago we went to open the streets for them or not, for even us, because somebody like this man does not have a family. For them, who are, who are farm owners, they went to open the street. They brutalized the, the 
caterpillar drivers and workers scattered everything. He adds that the farmers are farming on the Wunyamavi ancestral land. You see my grandfather's graves and uh, foundations. But there are some graves that if you go there you meet a, a cocoa or coffee or palm tree or all those things. We are trying to revive back the village. And that he has been creating a lot of avenues for peace to reign in the village. We have come today we said no problem. Even if you don't have a document, just come and show yourself to the village that uh, I'm occupying this land or they are not coming. They are just doing their violence and the other things which we are trying to stop them. My village is my village. And I cannot accept my village to be somebody's farmland. Calling on the amelioration as far as their teaching conditions are concerned. We're talking about uh, teachers, prolongation of teachers' day celebrated yesterday in Banga and in Jombe Penja. The teachers called on the government to ameliorate their teaching working conditions. We have innocent as a with details. Teachers in the towns of Njombe, Penja and Mbanga in the Mungu division of the Little Rao region did not implant their feet home October 5, while their colleagues elsewhere across Cameroon went marching to celebrate Teachers' Day. To their teachers, it was a day for them to express their environmental and poor working conditions and the low pay package in spite of the bulk of work and significance of the occupation in Cameroon in particular and the society at large. Teachers should be ranked first important and well remunerated than ministers. Though the teachers are called beggars, they are still proud of the teaching profession. Redressing the problems of teachers and salary increments according to the teachers will enable them efficiently perform their duties. Administrators should do everything possible that it takes to see that the number of students that they admit per class should be at the level of the teacher so that the lecture can go through, they will not have any difficulties to have all the children being taught. Others say students and pupils be pleased at the sense of area activities in order to accelerate the teaching and learning processes. It should be noted that the teachers, while marching October 5, brandished their grievances through messages on placards and also held peace plans denouncing violence and calling for peace. <laughs> Students dressed in uniform turn out on the ceremonial ground watching and cheering their teachers as they marched. <laughs> This year's celebration of World Teachers Day in the OPEC city of Limbe witnessed the conspicuous absence of teachers from nursery schools as well as teachers from the private secondary schools in the OPEC city. Our Limbe based correspondent is Davison Maimo. He took part in the match pass or he witnessed the match pass at the Manga Williams Avenue. And our report. Unfair to deny it that the Anglophone crisis did not have any effect in this year International Teachers' Day celebrations in Teachers' Day celebration, it uh, comes at a time when teachers in the private sector are decrying poor working conditions and they say those in the public sector have all it takes to teach, uh, teach students as well as our peoples. Our reporter Innocent Aze now takes us to the milieu of teachers in the private sector and tells us that it is a Herculean tax teaching students. Innocent? Uh, 
Teachers in Lee Private and Mission Schools joined their comrades of government-owned institutions of learning this Thursday to celebrate Teachers Day in its 2017 edition. Visiting some mission and lay private educational establishments in Douala, some teachers in these schools wished their teaching and living conditions alleviate unlike those in public or government schools. There's a difference between the public schools since they have the finance, they can easily finance their laboratory very well, equip their laboratory very well as compared to lay private school. You know the economy of the country, our salaries are a little bit below. The students are not well equipped. It makes the teaching task a little bit difficult. A salary anyway for the time being is good. For the previous years it has been somehow so the now is okay, at least I can manage. Other teachers rather consider such challenges and limitations as foundation to nurse or determine a quality teacher to impact knowledge and not necessarily for huge salary. As a, as a teacher, you must try to equip yourself. You should be a reference page either from students or from new teachers. Whatever token is given them in lay privates and mission schools, the teachers say there is need to glorify God and exploit other advantages to sustain their livelihood. But the Bible says everything let's give time. So somehow I am okay. If we were in terms of salaries, many people would not be here. You know the teacher has openings. Apart from teaching in the classroom, you could do other small things at least to meet up with life. They remain optimistic their teaching conditions will step up in subsequent years. We keep on striving. When things are good tomorrow, I'm sure it will be good for everybody. A similar expectation with teachers who say they are better paid and equipped in their schools. Uh, the salary it is it's good. It's good, but I wish it. It were better than what it is. <laughs> so because with all what we have as commitments, we will need things, we will need money to, to be there for us to, to make ends meet. Celebrating with government teachers whose conditions are better off is a way to interact and share ideas that could turn things around. Yeah, it does discuss about the problems that the, 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 the face in fear, the problems among them and to see how to help the teachers help themselves in future. In spite of the limitations faced by private school teachers, one thing is certain, they smile, feel contented with their job and ready to commune with their comrades on Teacher's Day. Now the Vice Chancellor of the University of Bamenda, Professor Teresa Nkwo Akenji, informs the general public, staff and students that the start of the 2017-2018 academic year has been maintained. As uh, originally scheduled, registration for returning students begins on Monday, October 9, 2017. Applications for freshmen are still being received. We talk something else. The senior divisional officer from Baman Enubu, Justine Vondong, has uh, commissioned Yaya Mebenga as a new deal for Bafia. While commissioning him into his functions, the SDO urged him to fight against insecurity, vandalism, uh, child and drug trafficking. He was equally urged to work in collaboration with the population to achieve that. Among these, uh, the problems tabled to the new deal, the population also urged him to uh, urge him to use his administrative power to fight against urban disorder in that locality. He is uh, taking over the uh, Bafia coming at a time when a bishop was uh, recently brutally assassinated, according to the Catholic Church. We now talk sport football. Two Douala based clubs have been relegated to the regional championship from League Two. Both Afogo and Douala Electric Club are paying the price for poor performance in uh, the National League Two football championship that has just ended recently. Simanji Kang Gabriel now overviews the League Two for the 2016 2017 football season. FC Yaoundé 2, RS Fortuna, all of the Central Region and Fuvu Club of Baham are the new boys in the League One Football Championship for the 2017-18 football season. The three clubs got their promotion at the end of March the 34 of the League Two Championship Thursday. 
If the two Yaoundé clubs spent just a year in League Two, Fofu Club of Baham spent two seasons. Fofu Club will be returning to the League One Championship after missing out in just two seasons. The unfortunate clubs at the end of the League Two Championship were Pante Security of Garwa that spent five years in the Professional League Two Championship, Botafogo and Douala Athletic Club, all of Douala. Before the demise to the regional championship, all three clubs had made their marks in League Two. The organizers of the League Two championship, the Professional Football League, will have the final say after all matches must have been homologated. Smart Jikan Gabriel ending that report and ending these days. 6 p.m. prime time newscast on Equinox Television. Thanks for watching. Good night. Equinox.